guys, welcome back. So I've got my Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I've really tried to roll myself in this week because my Friday favorites keep getting longer and longer. And it's because I always have so many things I want to tell you about. Like I keep a little basket during the week and fill it with things that I've really been enjoying. Well, the basket is like overflowing every single week and even other weeks I've tried to like narrow it down but it's still too much. So I've tried to do that more this week. So I'm not able to share quite as many things with you but I did pick out some things that I really, really loved this week and I'm super excited about. And there are two things that I just kind of want to give you feedback on. They're not necessarily favorites, but I just kind of want to give you little mini reviews on them really quickly. So anyway, lots to share. No fooies this week, so that's good. It's all positive in this video. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, I don't have a nail polish favorite this week because I wasn't really wearing any. Um, I was wearing the one from last week that I mentioned, and it lasted really well. So I just took that off, and I'm just letting my nails breathe for a few more days. Every once in a while I do that. I just kind of, yeah, feel like I need to do that. But they look pretty bad, so I think I need to paint them and cover them back up. But anyway, on to eyes. <laughs> I've been loving, still, my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I think this is such a great palette. I'm going to film a review on it. Um, that I hope will be up maybe next week or the week after. And then I already filmed a Get Ready With Me that'll probably go up after the review. So you guys know, other than my Friday favorites, my other videos, I just, I usually film them pretty far in advance because I work full time and I don't ever really know when I can film. So my filming schedule is a little crazy. So you'll be hearing more about that palette soon, but I have really been loving it the last few weeks. Um, and then over that, one day I wore my e.l.f. Uh, baked eyeshadow in pixie. It's just a really pretty kind of pinky rose gold. I really really like the elf baked eyeshadows. They are really really good. They blend really nicely. Um, you can apply them wet or dry and I like them both ways. This one kind of reminds me of Max Expensive Pink but I really feel like it complements the Warm Neutrals palette so well because those that the colors in that palette are kind of like burgundies and pinky sort of shades so this kind of like pinky rose gold I think kind of adds a little something extra and different but really complements it well so I loved that this week um, and then today I'm wearing my Naked palette and my CoverGirl trio in Shimmering Sands um, but I just started wearing this is the first day I've worn that so I wouldn't say that's a weekly favorite but I do really like it today okay and then I want to give you some feedback on these these are the um, Wet n Wild 8 Pan palettes they're limited edition that just came out I can't remember the name of the collection, but I'll list it somewhere. Um, this one is Walking the Red Carpet, and this one is Flirting at the After Party. So I put something on my Instagram about these, and I was really excited to find them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't hate them. Um, I think they're okay. I'm going to show you swatches in a minute. But they're just not like, you know the, the Comfort Zone palette. When you go to put that on your eyes, it's like one swipe, wha-bam so much pigmentation, blends nicely, it's just really good. And even some of their, like their trios, um, Petal Pusher palette is like that. These just aren't like that, at least in my experience. What I found is I was really having to like build the color to really kind of get any pigmentation. So I was sad, um, but I have heard some girls say that they do like these, so maybe I'm just picky, I don't really know. So let me show you some swatches. Okay, here they are swatched. And now that I'm seeing them swatched, I think they're just kind of hit and miss is what the deal is with them. This one's definitely more of a miss, the purple one. I mean, this is the darkest shade in the palette and that was with me really trying to build it up. So that's just, you know, if the darkest shade in a palette's that light, no, mm -mm. no, <laughs> not a fan. Um, this one's not that bad. Like I wore the gold one um, one day and I did like that. It's a little bit um, powdery and has some fallout and stuff, but it's not impossible to work with. The bronze was fine. Now I didn't swatch that one. So that one looks really nice. So I actually think I need to do a look with that one. So I would say, you know, they're around $5. It was $5.29 at Walgreens is where I found them. Um, it's not that bad for $5. You can get a pretty good look out of it, but I think the reason I'm not so wowed by them is because Wet n Wild has been so good in the past. It's just not up to the level that some of their palettes have had. Like their, um, you know, like I already mentioned, the Comfort Zone and the Petal Pusher that's like so good. 
it's just, they're just not to that level. So yeah, that's kind of my feedback on those. Okay, now onto some cheek favorites. I have just been on a blush kick lately. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm loving blush. So the first thing I was really loving this week, this is one of my products I got in my Wantable box. This is the Sorme Bio Natural Blush and Bronze Duo in Sunshine. I wore this several days this week and really liked it. Um, now I will say, the bronzer is very warm toned, so it can be a little bit difficult to work with, but once I blended it out, it was fine. And I think the reason I love this is it's easy. You know, I could just like grab it and then I would have my blush and bronzer right there. And the blush is so just a great everyday kind of a color that it's easy. And I also really like the presentation of this, like the packaging and just I don't know, it's just one of those products that, you know, you're just happy when you use it. You know, you just kind of go, I like you, and I'm not 100% sure why. <laughs> but I do really like the blush, and the bronzer is fine once you kind of get it blended, but it is kind of a unique shade of bronzer. But I just like the whole packaging and the whole presentation of it. I used that this week and really enjoyed it. Okay, I discovered a new cheek combo this week that I'm obsessed with. I'm wearing it today, and I might have gotten a little crazy. It's looking pretty dark on camera, but I love them together. They're amazing. So the first one, this is Max Melba. I got this recently in my MAC haul. And then with it, I'm wearing it with Max Stereo Rose. My goodness. Look, like they just seem like they complement each other so well. So Melba is this kind of just nice, everyday sort of coral that just goes with anything. It's a little bit, you know, like brown toned coral, I guess I would say. It's not like a bright, whoa, in your face coral. So there is Stereo Rose. And together, they're magical, magical. I think because, um, okay, Melba's right there, Stereo Rose is at the top and kind of overlapping a little bit. So I think Stereo Rose by itself would be a little bit too, whoa, in your face, shiny, metallic face because it's very, very bright and shimmery. But with Melba, it just kind of helps like bring it down a little bit and adds a little bit more dimension to it because Melba's a little bit darker. I love them together. So the way that I would apply it is I apply, you know, Melba to my cheeks, like the apples on my cheeks and a little bit back. And then I would take Stereo Rose and just kind of apply it right over it, almost as a highlight or like a higher blush. So, you know, I wouldn't take it like up in here like I would normally do with like a champagne kind of a highlight, but just keeping it higher on my cheekbones. Oh my goodness, I love them together. This is gonna be one of my new favorite combos for a long time. So, if you got Stereo Rose, it was part of the limited edition collection. I'm sure they're still available. I don't really know, honestly, but it was, you know, really recently and the collection's still in stores and stuff that's left over in the collection still around. So if you can find this or you have it, use it with Melba because it's gorgeous. I love them together. And then I got a new blush this week that I have fallen in love with. This is definitely in my top 10 favorite blushes for sure. And it is one of the new Milani baked matte blushes. I finally found the pink one. This is Delicioso Pink and I love it. Oh my gosh, just take a moment and look at it. It's beautiful. It is like a kind of in between a hot pink and a baby pink. Oh, oh my gosh, like even swatched on my hand, it's like oh, gorgeous. So the color is gorgeous. Like I said, it's in between that baby pink and a hot pink, so the color is amazing, but the formula is so good. It just like blends on your cheeks beautifully. It's not too much. It's like, it's the right amount of pigmentation. It's just right in the middle. It's not um, too pigmented where you really have to do a lot of blending, but it's not not pigmented where you're having to like really dig into it to build it up. It's right there in between. So it's great for somebody who's like new to blush and kind of nervous with playing around with, you know, this is kind of a little bit more, it's a bright blush, you know? It was a bright blush, you know? <laughs> so for somebody who's a little bit afraid of those, this is such a good formula because you can really kind of build it up nicely, um, but it's not gonna be frustrating where you're having to really dig into it. So I love this blush. My only complaint would be the packaging is that it's giant. <laughs> 
So that's the one thing I would switch, you know, I would change it and be more like Mac where it's just, you know, I don't know, it's more streamlined. I just feel like, and they dome it up on the sides. It's just huge. So packaging is a fail, but the product inside is so, so good. I love this so much. It's just, it's pretty to look at in the pan. It's pretty to look at on your hand and it's pretty to look at on your face. I love it. And then for lips this week, I have to go with what I'm wearing right now. I've worn this several times this week and I really like it. Um, so the first thing, this is the Tarte Lip Surgeons Lip Cream in Precious. This was part of the QVC Bow to Go set that I think was limited edition, so I don't think you can get this anymore. But I know that several of you said you had this set. Um, and also, this isn't... <laughs> I like this for several reasons. I like the shade. It's it's kind of a mauve shade and it's slightly darker than my natural lip color. So it's this kind of like my lips but better sort of a shade. So I do like the color, but that's not super unique. Like you could totally find a do for this or something very similar. It's just kind of a mauve sort of a shade. Um, but mostly I like the formula of this so, so much. I know I've had the just regular lip surgeons. I guess it's kind of their glossy one, whatever that's called, and I like those, but I really like the lip cream, so I think I may want to get some more of these, but, you know, I got it as part of the set, and these are normally like $24 a piece, so I don't know if I like it that much, but <laughs> I really like the formula of this, and I think the color is pretty, um, and then over it, this is um, the gloss that came in my Wantable box, this is the Dex New York Lip Gloss in Christopher Street Orchid. And it's this kind of like strange goldish coral. Like it looks really kind of odd, but it's great for layering. Like I really don't even see much coral in it. It's mostly just kind of gold. But um, I think over things, it really, it's mixing with the lipstick, but it really just kind of adds some dimension. So I really like it over things. It smells really good too. It smells like um, vanilla, like cookies or something and then over the minty smell of the Tarte lip cream. <gasps> the combo is like so wonderful. But I really, really like this gloss. I think it's perfect for layering and um, like I said, smells good. So, and it's not super, it's not sticky. It's a very comfortable gloss. Um, my one complaint is that this doe foot applicator does not get nearly enough product on it. So I find myself digging into the um, container like five or six times to get enough gloss. And I don't even like a ton of gloss. I just want just a little bit to kind of add some dimension. So that would be the one thing that I think they should change is they need like a different applicator to get more product on it. Um, but I really like the shade and I wore it several times this week. Okay guys, so those are all my Friday favorites and fooies. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, let me know what kind of things you've been loving this week, not loving this week, how your week went, what kind of weekend plans do you have. I just love talking with you guys. So let me know those things in the comments. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.